People who have had COVID-19 can get long COVID, even if they had no symptoms or only mild symptoms during the infection. You're more likely to get long COVID if you had to go to the hospital because of COVID-19. If you did not get the COVID vaccine, if you have a disability, or if you have a long-term health condition. Hello, everyone. I'm Sign One News anchor Vanessa Paloma Vajarnik. Here's a quick look at the top trending international news stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment about this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. A couple in Iran shared a romantic video showing them dancing in the streets of Tehran. That would be an innocent video elsewhere in the world, but not in Iran. The couple has been sentenced to more than 10 and a half years in jail. In the video, the woman's hair is uncovered, which is against the hijab law in the country. After the video was shared all over the world, Iran's government officials raided the couple's home and arrested them. Tehran's government accused the couple of spreading the idea of protesting and demonstrating against the government. Eight migrants were found dead on a small boat in the Mediterranean Sea this week. The Italian Coast Guard said they died trying the dangerous journey across the central Mediterranean. Some of the survivors also told authorities one of the women on board threw her four-month-old child overboard out of desperation after the child died due to the cold. A man jumped into the water hoping to find the child, but he reportedly drowned in the waves. The infant's mother also died a few hours later. The survivors are now in Lampedusa. Many of them are traumatized and in shock, including the baby's father who witnessed his wife and child's death. After 16 years on the run, one of Italy's most wanted mafia bosses, Eduardo Greco, was captured. He was hiding in France as a pizza maker. Authorities say he was part of the Calabria Mafia. Greco was sentenced in absentia for the murder of two brothers from a rival clan in the 1990s. While in France, Greco adopted the identity of Paolo Dimitrio. He was even featured in a local paper as an authentic Italian pizza maker. Police caught Greco Thursday in Saint-Étienne, France. He will likely be extradited to Italy. On Wednesday, half a million people walked off the job in the UK. They hit the streets to protest wage benefits and working conditions. Officials say it is the biggest strike in Britain in more than a decade. Protesters included teachers, university staff, transport workers, and civil servants. The National Education Union estimates 300,000 teachers walked out. That caused many schools to close and canceled many university lectures.
It also disrupted transportation, health care, and public sectors. The United States is imposing visa restrictions on Taliban members involved in the repression of women and girls in Afghanistan. The announcement comes more than a month after the Taliban announced it was banning women from attending universities and working with non-governmental organizations. The Taliban took control of Afghanistan after the chaotic U.S. military withdrawal in 2021. Officials say the Taliban was, has forced more than a million school-aged Afghan girls and young women out of school and forced women out of universities and the workforce. In Hong Kong, vanity license plates on cars have become so popular they're being auctioned like fine art and people are paying millions of dollars to get them. Since 2006, over 40,000 personalized vehicle registration tags have been sold at auction by the Hong Kong Transport Department. Car owners can create tags of up to eight characters. Some cars have been spotted driving around town with tags that say things like Sin, Dark Side, Time Out, and Live to Love. The phenomenon has also sparked social media accounts where tag hunters share their finds online and rappers singing songs about them. Take a look at the world's oldest dog ever. As of today, Bobby is 30 years and 265 days old. He's lived his entire life with a family in a rural village in Portugal. Dogs like Bobby usually live about 12 to 14 years. But this dog has beaten all the odds. In fact, when he was born, the family decided to get rid of the litter of four pups because they already had too many dogs. But Bobby mistakenly got left behind. If Bobby were human, he would be 133 years old. Wow. Sign One News will be broadcasting international news updates every Sunday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone, and you can also watch on Apple TV, Amazon, and Roku.